Welcome to the instructional video on the Confusion Assessment Method. My name is Susan Heisey and I'm from the Hospital Elder Life Program. The first thing to consider is there a evidence of an acute change in mental status? If yes, does the abnormal behavior fluctuate during the day? Does the patient have difficulty focusing attention? Is the patient's thinking disorganized or incoherent? What is the patient's level of consciousness? A patient screens positive for delirium if there is a new or worsening change in mental status and in attention, plus either disorganized thinking or altered level of consciousness. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have a 58-year-old male that was admitted for pneumonia. A family member says the patient has a decrease in appetite and has been sleeping a lot over the past two days and is acting strange. It's okay. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Yes, good morning. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi, Jessica. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling today? I, 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 need, to, I need to go to the farm now. Um, hmm, okay. Um, can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? Huh? Can you tell me your name and date of birth? She wants to know your name. Ray Johnson. Okay. Can you tell me where were you born? Where? When, when were you born? Nin 1961. And where? Do you know where? In Wisconsin. Okay. Well, uh, could, do you know where you are? <sighs> train station. Okay. And do you know why you're here? I need to I need to go to my brother's farm and help with the cows. For the last couple of days he's been just talking about this farm and how he's got to get back to help his brother and he doesn't even know who we are. He calls us by our wrong name. Hmm. And that's very unusual. Two days prior to that he was fine and he's just on and off been doing acting like this. These questions are assessing the patient's orientation. Uh, Mr. Johnson, can you tell me uh, the months of the year backwards, starting with December? December? Mm-hmm. January, February, mm -hmm. March, July, August, September, all done. When is the train coming? I, I, I don't have any money. I took my money. It's okay. How, how many cows are here? This question is assessing the patient's attention. Observe for difficulty focusing, being easily distracted, or having difficulty keeping track of what is being said. If the patient cannot focus enough to complete this activity, they are demonstrating inattention. Now let's assess the patient's thinking. Is their thinking coherent? Is their conversation clear, logical, and relevant? It's okay, mm. Mr. Johnson, it's okay. Try and relax. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no, oh, Whoa, no, no, what was it's that? Okay. It's, it's okay, it's okay. The, Ray, the train Ray, is Ray. coming. Ray, try Mr. Relax. Johnson, Ray. you're in the hospital. Relax. You're in the relax. hospital. Relax. We're gonna get you comfortable mm. here, okay? You're in the hospital. Assess the patient's level of consciousness. Is the patient hyper alert, drowsy, difficult to arouse? Was Mr. Johnson oriented? No. Mr. Johnson was disoriented to the place and reason why he was here. He thought he was at the train station. Was Mr. Johnson having difficulty with attention? Yes. He was unable to recite the months of the year backwards and wasn't able to complete this activity. Was Mr. Johnson's thinking coherent? No, his conversation had illogical flow of ideas, patients switching from subject to subject. What was Mr. Johnson's level of consciousness? Hyper alert at times with increased stimulation, startled response with alarm noise, and started to yell. If CAM is positive, notify the physician or designee. Identify any potential causes of delirium. D is for drugs, dehydration, discomfort, pain. E is for electrolyte imbalance, changing the environment, too little or too much stimulation. L for lungs, hypoxia, 
lacks of sleep, long-term sedatives are stopped. I is for infection, infarction. R is for restricted mobility and movement, reduced sensory input, vision, hearing, and renal failure. I is for injury, intoxication. U is for unfamiliar environment. M is for metabolic abnormalities, glucose, thyroid, medications. It is important to identify the cause and treat it quickly. The patient should maintain regular sleep patterns. They should be awake during the day and asleep at night. It is important to reduce the noise at night. During the day, keep the activity level up. The patient should be in a chair for meals and walking in the hallway several times a day. According to the advice from their physical or occupational therapist, partner with pharmacy to review the patient's medications. Continually assess the patient for pain and provide pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions. Encourage the patient to eat and drink. Offer water during hourly rounding. Assess for signs and symptoms of urinary retention and or constipation during your shift. It is so important to properly assess patients for delirium. Delirium is a reversible new or worsening confusion that fluctuates, usually occurring during a significant illness or stressful time. It is considered a medical emergency and is reversible if acted on immediately. If it is not recognized, it can cause a delay in recovery and can have a lasting impact for months or years to come. It is so important to properly assess patients for delirium. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the confusion assessment method.